guys, welcome back to the Chemical X podcast where every week we start by saying don't forget to like and subscribe because we are desperate. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and follow us on Instagram. And also thank you so much everybody who watched last week's episode with Gia. We got so many comments and feedback and... Um, what, it's one of our better episodes, I think. We say that about everyone. We say that about our everybody best episode have. yet. It's because we it's, love everybody we have and on. It's the most recent one. So mm -hmm. um, before we start this episode, I just have to ask Veronica something. And well, I had to ask you something. So who goes for girls? Who goes first? I think me. Since you fucked up, I'm able to start. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever somebody fucks up, <laughs> they have the upper hand. Okay? Also, you're older. Now it's like excuse me listen we're not at that age where it's fun to say that anymore now i'm like shut your mouth <laughs> what are you older by like five i'm older by what five months well honestly side story before we each insult each other so i go to a store today and uh, the guy's like says something and he's like huh you know uh it's not like you're uh it's not like you're 40 i see a 25 anyways he basically says you're you're around 25 years you're 25 years old and it's like no I'm 24. <laughs> so now are you saying but then I was thinking to myself well usually people say like your younger age cuz you never say you're about 30 if you look 25. You always like round down. Kinda so if you like look 30 when you see somebody who's big you don't say are you pregnant? You just wait till they say it absolutely. before you fuck yourself so over. So if I look 30 then he would say you look 25. You know what I mean? So I was like so now you're saying actually not only do I not look my age which is 24 it's that i look 30 <laughs> so anyways whenever, i left the store and i went <laughs> wait whenever like i encounter like older people and stuff and they're like oh well guess my age i hope you know i'm always lying and i'm always saying literally 20 years younger and then i'm like no way in my head i'm like you actually look 80 but no way i, I was gonna give like you like 35 <laughs> like kls they don't look 35 but it's always the hardest people to pinpoint are like 35 to 42 and i know that's so like specific but i swear to you those are the only the, that age range is the most insecure about their age age range okay by the way because once you're like 45 you're like okay i'm a milf but like before that you're still wishing you were 30 you know what i mean you still wish pissed. you were 39 so that's the age where it's very touchy when somebody says how do you think i am you're going ah, 21 it's and crazy. they're like you're so lying. how old would you give kim kardashian that you knew she was 40 I feel like she's looking really good. I don't feel like she's... You don't I feel, feel like, first of all, anybody with obvious plastic surgery, I don't know your age anymore. Tell me you know what I mean. True. Like, don't ask me your age because it it doesn't count. Like, True. anyway, so what did you want to tell me? Okay. How so, pretty I look? Well, no, it's like, say I'm pretty. Now it's like, I'm gonna say get, I'm pretty. Well, you're in pajamas, so I guess put on an outfit and maybe I'll compliment you. <laughs> I'm in a one piece. <laughs> and what did you say I was in? Well, <laughs> it's what I wanted to tell you. I just wanted to know if you're going swimming after this because you came on the podcast in a bikini. That, that was my question for you. I was nice enough to put a cover up. <laughs> you really didn't go away from the bikini because you even wore the shells. Well, last... You said straight from the beach. And last week, I was not even in a bathing suit. So <laughs> I'm really... Uh, trying you were to... in nipple pasties last Listen, week. Listen, <laughs> everybody, thank you for the views last week. I know where they came from. <laughs> so you think you have nice tits. So you think that people clicked because of your boobs. So you think that people clicked for you and not Gia's amazing story? Okay. They clicked for I'll Gia. let her know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to see this. So um, so I have a question. So you could only be one thing and it's jealous or crazy. Which one are you choosing? Isn't that both though? Every the time I tell somebody, they're like, it's both. And I'm like, no, choose one. So let's go through them. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And I have like to whatever you're honest, I have backup I, I hope for you're my honest question. to be honest What's I hope I'm honest jealous, so I have backup jealous, to why I'm crazy. saying this but I'd rather be crazy okay explain because jealousy is the type of thing that eats you up inside and being crazy is the type of thing that you could go and write it a song. It also eats you up inside. <laughs> no, being crazy is you go write a song about it and you twerk to how much of a crazy bitch you are. And so you, Beyonce. You live life doing it. Like you're with your two friends in the car following your ex. Like that sounds like a good time to be honest. <laughs> Jealousy without the crazy is just like you're at home crying. Because your boyfriend went to the grocery store. <laughs> now you're like. I was going to say jealous, but um, now I'm genuinely answering. I just, I always feel like you can't be one without the other. Like, so why are you asking because, me a trick question? Because I just want to see what you're going to say, but now you, you defined all odds. So, 
Because if you're jealous, it takes over you, man. You become crazy. You can't be jealous and not do... You're saying jealous and stay at home. I don't know anybody who gets jealous and stays at home. If I'm jealous, you should well, see the paragraphs I said. <laughs> but I do think that there's some people that... No, I do agree that they go hand in hand. But there's also the type of jealous where you're just like have trust issues yes where you're just more like freaking out about everybody is a little bit in their life jealous you know Mm -hmm. if something happens you can have jealous tendencies but like this is why i think that crazy is better than jealousy because i actually feel like okay it's a known fact men always want to save women you know what i mean the more fucked up they are they always want to feel like they can save so like "Mm, trust me I people don't think go, jealous. People go, oh my God, but it's so crazy. I literally hit him in the face and suddenly he's <laughs> texting me and calling me back even more. I just feel like guys low key like crazy. And David's laughing. Yeah, so no, it's true though. I'm telling guys you, it's like, like crazy. psychological almost. Guys, it's because guys love to they be say like. They they want the girl who's chill, easy going. And then they get that and two weeks in, they're bored as fuck. Mm. And then they're like, I remember my ex who literally used to fucking hang me off the ceiling. <laughs> was more thrive, you know? So I know I think I'm gonna go with crazy just because I'm not gonna lose my bad if I'm crazy. Jealousy only gets you nowhere. Wow! I Take just, action. I just realized that I only care about myself because in my whole answer, not once did my boyfriend come up. <laughs> I just said I'm living my best life with my chicks. You're like I get to keep the man, <laughs> and I'm like cool outfit. I get to twerk. I don't even know why I said that. Actually, I just mean but it's, like I totally agree with it's your facts. Point. It's because um, men. Love? Men want to save. No, but men love when, like, we prove them right. So, for yes. example, like, you know how all guys are like, oh, women are so emotional. Yeah. Like, they're so crazy. They're so jealous. So, men love when they're right. So, when they get that woman who's actually crazy and jealous, it's like, this is my woman. You know what yes. I mean? Oh, she's like, she's crazy. But low-key, they love it. You know what oh, I mean? they love it. But it also depends the person. I just feel like... Everybody in their life has dated somebody or some had something in their life, whether it was a fuck boy or something that was crazy. And that love will always be completely different than every other thing yeah. they go for. You yeah. know what I mean? Because there was depth to it. There was stories. There's there's things when you're at home thinking about it that you go, fuck, that was crazy. Or like, but it's also to like, remind you, you know, yeah, Sometimes it could be terrible. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it depends because. There, there, yes and no like I know what you mean by it's a memorable like toxic love kind yes, of thing exactly but I also think that sometimes you get to a point where you're just like no because no, no. like I've had that and then I've been like I never want to sure, do that again you sure. know what I mean I think you yeah. go through it it's it's like yes it's a rush and yes it's like very whatever mm-hmm. but it actually gets no, I think so eventually draining. I think eventually after you, you're ready to settle for that you know that just that jealous girl who's gonna stay at home I think for sure <laughs> you're tired of the slashing tires so and going to the garage every be, week so you believe that you could be one and not the other I just think that the person who's jealous they're just they just go straight to crazy right because jealousy really well, means crazy in a way no, if you really think about it no because there's different types of jealousy. Like I said, yeah, jealousy there's the trust, that's normal. There's, there's the trust issues type of girl who's like jealous because she's like not jealous out of like, oh my God, like he's going to, it's more like I've been hurt in the past. I don't know how to yes. trust you. Like I'm scared you're going to hurt me. But like, I'm that's where I'm jealous. But then there's also like the out of proportion jealous bitch who's just like showing up with a gun anytime somebody yeah. says, where's where's the street? And right. she says, don't fucking talk to my boyfriend. Like, yeah. that's crazy. But I, I find like jealousy can come in like different levels. For sure. Because I'm not, I'm so jealous, what level but I'm are not you crazy. On, on 10, what would you say? Two? Of jealousy or crazy? <laughs> oh, because those are two different, two different things. Okay. It's because my crazy <laughs> does not come from jealousy see that's what that's why i think they're two separate things because i guys i I didn't know we were planning on doing the topic on this but keep going (laughs) i could be crazy as fuck but it has nothing to do with me being jealous like yeah that makes sense i will like break down my house but not will have nothing to do with jealousy it's just because it lights it us give (laughs) us a story what makes you break down your house (laughs) i'm just like when i'm mad i'm crazy when I'm mad, when I, I don't feel I've, hurt. I've witnessed it. Veronica could be crazy. I feel like with my boyfriend, my boyfriend is like you. You guys have a lot of similarities. Like he's going to break shit. And I'm just going to be there like, don't touch me. <laughs> and it's always 
us that lose in the end always <laughs> yeah because you whip something that you end up having to repay for or uh, absolutely <laughs> so i remember i had a huge fight with my ex-boyfriend and i was in my bathroom and it was on the phone and a fight on the phone <laughs> It's not the same as fighting in real life because there's so much like tension that you can't get out your anger because it's on the phone. Well, like, you can't attack You him. almost can't scream loud enough at the phone. You know what I mean? And so, sometimes you can't get your point across on uh, the phone. It, because it's very like, are you even like, you know what I mean? Sometimes Listen to me. Give me yeah. my time. Yeah. So I remember we got off the phone. I hung up on him and I was so mad. And I've said this in the past and I'll say it again, but I'm a thrower when I'm mad. And that's the worst trait you have. Worst trait, but it feels so good. In the moment. It's so good. For the first two seconds. As soon as the object You leaves, are a thrower. I'm really not a thrower. I'm a thrower. I'm a lever. I will walk <laughs> around the house and find something through to throw and then throw it so like you really need to go to those places where you whip the dishes and they break what's that place called rage room <laughs> i've been but anyway so I can, the, the yep. millisecond the object leaves my phone i immediately regret it so i was on the on the phone with my ex-boyfriend and i freaked out i was in my bathroom don't know why i was fighting with him in my bathroom but anyways i might uh, my you old probably house, thought my you were house. talking lower and you yeah. were area i probably over. thought that if i closed the door no one in my house could hear me <laughs> and they were all going she's having issues so i whip i close the phone and i whip my phone and for some reason in my head I was like, I'm going to throw my phone at my bathtub because I feel like it's less impact than throwing it on like the ceramic floor. So I get that. You know what I mean? Like, but I thought quick. I thought quick. Yeah, I don't think like that. Probably because I don't throw things when I'm angry. So it still did not work out Guys, for me. Guys, write end. in the comments if you are a emotional just cry and leave like me or you're like Veronica where you're going to fucking whip something. <laughs> absolutely david's like oh she whips i whip <laughs> and i nay nay anyway <laughs> so i whip my phone at the bathtub for no reason and immediately as it left my hand i said holy shit i whipped this so hard that i was like i'm gonna break the bathtub yeah because not only am i a thrower but i'm actually really strong <laughs> we know these guns <laughs> they've got power so i whip my phone and then immediately regret it pick up my phone and it's literally it was when the iPhone, I think it's the iPhone 8. It was like that really thin one, you know? The one that everybody would sit and it would bend in their back pocket. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. Anyways, I pick up my phone. It's completely bent on literally like this. Okay? Shattered. Like, shattered. Like, what did you do? Now you can't even call him to I be I can't more even crazy. call him to keep the fight going. Like, this <laughs> is like, I ruined myself. It's like I'm going on Facebook Messenger to say, babe, sorry. No, no. Uh, we're still in a fight, but I broke my phone. So if you're trying to contact me after, you know, what literally happened, just to let you don't know, message. But me it's here. also like <laughs> message me here. And that's what kills me. No, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't even message him because there's something about being unreachable and not telling them yeah. why that goes. And sorry, also my phone what? was broken. You're going to tell him that I, you broke your phone because I'm him. He's getting no more credit. <laughs> literally. So I had to go to Rogers and the Rogers guy was like, can I ask like, no, like, what did you do to do this? And I was like, honestly, I got in a fight with my boyfriend. And wow. I'm sure if he thought I was whatsoever attractive before, he said deleted. Yeah. After I said so, I got in a fight with my boyfriend. I've gotten into fights with my boyfriend and I never threw anything. He threw a Brita, not at me, but <laughs> out of anger. He broke the Brita, okay? And <laughs> why is that I, funny though? Like, but I got him that Brita. So it was a bit like, if you think I'm ordering you a new one on Amazon, I hope you know that's not happening. And also the filters that come with it, not happening either. which are also very expensive exactly are you kidding i just went to buy but new i filters. hope you know i'm the only one suffering now because we haven't got a brita since so do i go get it or not <laughs> and he's ripped a picture of us i'm like ew we're not in a movie please stop and ew. i was really i know ew babe what the fuck Rip he's a, gonna be that's so like... mad i'm saying this <laughs> but i'm he the ripped, same way honestly my favorite picture of us oh maybe i'll link it down below it was a picture of us in Mexico and he literally ripped it and I was like, who oh. even has print out pictures anymore? Well, that's what I mean. It was from Mexico. The photographer took it. The one it. that they made you char char pay $20 for. No, 40 US. 40 US. And he ripped it. So, And I'm sure he paid for it. I don't know if I should be saying this one, but he also broke his laptop because of me. <laughs> oh my God. What do I do? What do I do to people? <laughs> he broke his computer. Are you good? <laughs> I don't know what's happening to my voice. Well, I just want to know. It was an Alcom voice. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> that was, I just heard Elmo. <laughs> but why did that happen? Well, I don't know. Are you Elmo? It's happening again. 
nine one one. My voice is changing. What do I do? <laughs> What's happening? Can you like cough or like swallow? Take, take a sip of your ice cap. What the? F- Anyways, he broke his laptop. <laughs> he broke his laptop. <laughs> I'll maybe cut that out. <laughs> that's hilarious. And that's only him who loses, by the way. That's the, that's only the equal of me breaking my phone. And the worst thing about breaking something is that the person who throws it is always the one who has to do the cleanup. <laughs> that's the worst part is that after you regret it, you're the loser in the corner going, and the one, two, three, garbage next. One, two, three, garbage next. <laughs> and a laptop, when it breaks... It breaks. It shatters. Wow. Keyboard everywhere. Like oh every piece. God. Like I'm walking and I'm literally like bleeding from my foot because there's <laughs> chip pieces everywhere. Anyway, all this to say, he's the crazy one. <laughs> I'm the jealous one. <laughs> but I there's something so satisfying. People are going to be like, you're an abuser. Well, I don't get it, but I guess. I mean, I think it's I'll just let my the way that I you know that, you know, there's people out there like that. <laughs> I just, I think it's the way that like I. You know what it is, though? I'm actually really calm. <laughs> I'm really calm until I get really angry. And my anger only lasts max five minutes. And as soon as the five minutes... You can minutes break a done, lot of shit in five absolutely. minutes. Absolutely. But like, but that's what I'm saying, though. It's like, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm. But if you get me to the point where I'm so frustrated, that's when I, like, see black, go crazy, throw shit. And then after that, I'm good. But my brother could, like, punch into a wall. Like, I'm sorry. I'm a dainty person. I'm not punching into a wall. I can't... Like when I see people who are able I've to punch a wall before, but it's very. But does it make? Did it make a hole? First when of you all, did like, it? did it make a hole when you did it? No. But why when men do it? Is there suddenly a huge hole? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm so- they do one kick or one hit, it's and they sudden- also don't care. Like I throw shit, but like, like I said, I aim for the you're, bathtub. You're not willing to like damage yourself. My body, like I don't mind about goods. You know what I mean? They could be replaced, but <laughs> so you're saying you're not goods? Um. I'm irreplaceable is what I'm saying. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, speaking about breaking things, guys, uh, just to continue on my bad luck, I go bad get my... Bad luck part 3,865. So I have so many things. So I go get my phone fixed because it's been shattered since I And fixing bought a it. phone is always $300, even if you have iPhone <laughs> 3. Like, <laughs> suddenly if you have iPhone 3, it's more expensive. Because <laughs> they have to get it shipped in because they don't even carry that one anymore. Crazy. <laughs> so, um... I actually, to start of my bad luck, when I first got this phone, I didn't get a screen protector because I was like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll get it. You know, like you asked for bad luck. You know, the first two weeks I dropped my phone, immediately shatter it. Okay, on the corners, though. So I said, it's fine. Then I went to go get a screen protector and the screen protector wouldn't stay on because it was shattered. So naturally, I had no screen protector. (laughs) Anyways, so this crack has existed on my phone since forever. You good? Uh, (laughs) Apparently not. Sorry, guys. We're having technical difficulties. (laughs) Voice difficulties. (laughs) So we'll blame it on the mic. Yeah. Production, you're able to cut it out. That's the best. Yeah, audio. Can you guys cut it out? Uh, Alessia, it's actually you cutting it out. So (laughs) just remind yourself we have no producers. (laughs) So, um, so yeah, so that's existed on my phone forever. And all of a sudden it decided that my phone would like start like typing on its own. So I couldn't do anything on my phone for like two weeks because Every time I would open my phone, it would just like switch screens. Like, would you I would blame be- like sending hate messages on that? Like, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. It was my phone. You know, like, sorry, it wasn't me. It was my friend. Sorry, it well, wasn't I was me. actually using it to not text people back. But I mean, it was actually, you know, how much effort I had to put into a text. It was like I would be texting and then it would change the word. And then I was copy pasting where it was all a mess. Wow. OK, so. um, So, yeah, so it was typing all kinds of shit. I finally get it fixed. And it was, you know, 200 plus dollars. So. Yes fuck me right and the guy kindly enough gave me the screen protector because i wasn't about to pay that extra 20 to get it put on i was gonna say ride or die baby we're going raw dog right but he was like i'll give you a screen protector and i was like okay so you don't like recurring business because you're giving me literally the thing that i will you know will stop me from coming back well no because you're still gonna go back (laughs) so i finally get it fixed i leave and come home and i walk out of the car immediately after going to get my phone fixed and i'm pulling out a carpet which later turned out to be defective and i'm pulling out this fucking carpet that i've been waiting for for three weeks and drop my phone face first on the ground smack on a rock and crack the screen but i realized that it's only the screen protector so shout out to the guy at the screen place but 
I have bad luck. No, no. I have the worst luck. It's actually a joke. It, that's crazy. And also, I realized that I didn't have my phone for two hours. And I realized I don't know how... I don't know where I live. So every time <laughs> when I've done that before and I had to get my phone fixed, it was very like two hours. I'm like, no problem. Do you problem. have a chair? And I'm like holding on to it because I'm like, do you have a chair? Where I'm not going anywhere. I don't know how to get out of here. Even if I live two minutes away, how do I get back? Like, we don't realize how dependent we are on our phones until suddenly we give it and, and we forget. And we go, yeah, I'm just going to... No, and I can't. I'm yeah. just gonna. No, I can't. Absolutely. I'm just gonna. I can't. Absolutely. Well, if I was gonna do one more, I was very annoying. I was gonna quit the podcast. Yeah, I agree. But uh, I, I left when I had left, and I had to go home. I, I got my way because I knew my address to get home, and I, I have like the the navigation. But in my two thousand dollar, two thousand dollar, well, two thousand dollar BM, but <laughs> in my two thousand ten BM, there's not the updated <laughs> navigation. It's very like those streets ended a long time ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> So I knew my address to get home and find my way back. But when it started having to go back to the phone place with no phone, I walked into my car all confident, realizing I don't know the address. I don't know shit. I don't even know the name of this store. Put in a random street, the the street that it's on, which turned out to be the longest Mm -hmm. street in Montreal. And instead of taking me five minutes to get there, it took me 30. So I love my phone. It's insane. It's disgusting, but... I can't get anywhere without my phone. Crazy. Moving on to today's topic. Um, what are we talking about? Me. <laughs> no, we do that every week, Veronica. What are we talking about this week? <laughs> well, I wanted to talk about... I was like, I. Yeah. What are we talking about here? Sliding we have- in DMs. Okay. Yes. First of all, I'm going to preface this by saying... I'm listening. I don't answer anybody when they DM me. Okay. So I'm the worst person. Well, I'm the worst and best person to be giving Hold on. these. Okay, listen. I feel like you're only saying that because you've only had people who sent really bad DMs. No. Think about it, though. We have such a stigma on, oh, if you're going to DM me, like, I'm not. I don't answer my DMs. But it's also because you guys fucking suck. You don't know what to say. And that's the majority of why you don't get an answer back. Mm-hmm. Not because there's a whole stigma of, oh, don't DM a girl. Like, I'm more of a, you have to meet me in person. Let me tell you, if a girl is interested in you and you know how to write, then you are going to get an answer back. Even though they're not the type of girl to answer DMs. You just got to do it right. And yeah. one is being super original. The, the main issue of what men do that fuck up everything is they have this automated message they send to every single girl mm-hmm. in a DM. Mm-hmm. And you don't think that shit gets passed around. You're at your third girl and all the girls know and everybody talked about it. You have to be original if you're going to DM a girl. And also, like, if I can just say, coming from, you know, not somebody who answers DMs, but uh, don't DM a million girls. Because if you, like, select, like, if you think, properly. okay, if I DM 100 girls and I'm going to get three people who are going to answer me, no, because if you That's DM That's how me, men think, though. They, it's they think that, but it's actually not. Because if you DM everybody, girls talk. As usual, support for the Chemical X podcast is brought to you by Manscape, who is the best in below-the-waist grooming for men. And we got a very special package. Uh, it's really nice. It's really nice. And it's also very exciting to open. I love a good like rip to open. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just going to unbox this. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're one of the lucky ones. But if almost- not, enjoy ASMR. <laughs> Literally. I'll do this in a whisper. <laughs> but how amazing. No, this is like amazing branding. Are also. you joking? Like, this is like i want balls just so i could shave them i know we were like, just talking about how depressed we are that we can't use this are you kidding if i'm about a- to say babe pull down your pants yeah, like i'm if- trying everything on you <laughs> if you're a guy and you don't have this i think you're missing out really absolutely so this is the performance package 4.0 and it comes with basically everything you need like, everything you need guys just a robbery is happening. You have two seconds to get out of the house. You grab this and you're good to go. And you could crash into any house because Absolutely. you have your box. You're ready to go. <laughs> so life or death, grab your Manscaped box. So guys, the performance package 4.0, it has our lawnmower 4.0, our favorite razor. Yes. We have a crop reviver, which is a ball toner. We have a ball deodorant because, you know what I mean? In the summer, it, it gets, gets a little... Sh- really it's a little sweaty down, down there. there you know what i mean and that's what makes a girl not text you back so you better be using that that's deo 
top and bottom if you have a dick that smells i promise you it's going right in the group chat the next day so in order to get rid of that that, avoid it exactly we also have boxers we have a nice carrying bag so many other things so check it out at manscape.com this is literally all you need in your life and to have a good unsmelly nice and clean summer and because we love you so much we are giving you a discount code guys use our discount code chemical x at checkout to receive 20 percent off your entire order anything on the website and also free shipping that's like a steal if you ask me guys it's a hot girl summer but your balls need a pair up absolutely so go check them out manscape.com next we have another lovely box like i've been just getting shipments and it's getting amazing. shipments is the funnest thing in the world this is christmas are you kidding i love boxes oh my god can we God. talk about how fun it is to unbox things it's very fun if i had balls they'd be tingling <laughs> so this is a beautiful box that we got by fit by bella she has the nicest ass i think on instagram we agree absolutely and she started these pre-workouts and meal guides and she workout started, guides yes and she started this like fit kit box fit kit box so basically it's a gym in a box you no longer need like so much equipment in order to work out and we have all the excuses in the world to not want to work out this little cute box first of all so cute so we have her specialty which are the booty bands because the bigger the booty the better yes uh, and guys two colors we both work out and we've tried them and they're so good so many times you buy elastics and you buy them and they're like plastic and then they ride up or mm. they ride down and they don't stay sturdy so we got really some good. sliders if you want to do some of those little glutes you know what i mean you got to do like the fun stuff then we also have these weights that are really heavy so i'm only lifting one but how <laughs> cute like are you kidding this is an instagramable workout session yes so thank you fit by bella you guys need this fit kit if you are working out from home or anywhere even if you go to the gym i bet you there's days you don't go and you're just like fuck i should have worked out today well now you don't have to if you get this fit kit and we have a special discount code for you, Chemical X, and you get 20% off plus free shipping. So go check her out, Fit by Bella, and order yourself your very own Fit Kit. Guys, you know this one because you hear it every week, and we keep on telling you because we just believe in it so much, and we think that everybody should have it in their house. Not what just is house. it? Not just house anywhere i'm famous for saying the bathroom but she's anywhere. also famous for saying restaurant like <laughs> as if every single one of the chemical x listeners owns a restaurant <laughs> but you know who it is it's, it's neon, neon Ifik. Ifik, guys i also added a second one this week well actually it's still from last week but our beautiful little rainbow because it's still pride month um look at this so this one is pre-made and you can actually just buy it straight off their website the chemical x sign is obviously custom because we're custom bitches yes and you could get any color anything you wanted to say if you guys want to get x the chemical x podcast then nothing says i hate you more than that so you gotta get it <laughs> and we've and been getting a lot of hate so that would be you know in the top searches <laughs> absolutely fuck chemical x so if you would like to get such a sign or anything of that sort you can go to neonific.ca Use or our discount com. code. Both work. <laughs> Use our discount code Chemical X, and you receive ten percent off plus free shipping. Jesus. I love these free shippings. Free shipping is no excuse. I'm sorry. So. I I agree, guys. If you know who I am and you watch this podcast, then you know I started a business of handmade body jewelry. Now, like we always say, this summer is hot girl summer, and every single kardashian every single person is wearing body chains so if you're listening to this then you're probably not and you probably should so <laughs> veronica and i are actually wearing the coco choker right now i'm also wearing the airy waist chain with an, an, an <laughs> initial <laughs> with an initial on it so if you're feeling like you want to customize something go on my website and i'm also giving 15 percent off with the discount code chemical x at checkout so Go to bodystrands.com. Like, yeah. like no other. Like, yeah. 
So even if you DM you one of my to... friends who's my friend, who's brother's sister's daughter, I'm going to know that you DM everybody. Yeah. Like a, suddenly a girl doesn't get interested when a guy is in every single girl's DMs. Exactly. They go not dateable. He's going to be a cheater. He's annoying. And also, I don't want your attention because you're giving it to everybody else. Exactly. A girl, I'm not special. Exactly. A girl will like the thing that women love most is made to be made feel what the fuck is wrong with me to feel special yes so if you can make her feel special which perfect example is you're only dming her or like you're being very okay, selective you can, DM, work in your you can dm multiple people but i think it can't be from the same circle or like dm a chick in miami but like no but i'm just but saying wait a the bit people who, i don't i don't think you should like start rambling on to like 35 mm-hmm. different prospects yeah. in montreal no. or in miami or wherever you're from because Chances are one hot girl knows another hot girl. So just be careful there. Yeah. And also, like, what are you typing? Because that's the reason you're not getting an answer back. <laughs> be original. Go through their fucking Instagram. Look at something you can either, like, one, relate to. Two, that's funny. Like, I would answer a guy's DM if he's hilarious, you know? If he says mm-hmm. something and I'm like, oh, my God, he's funny. Mm-hmm. I can go on a date with him. And we would have fun, you know? Yeah. But if a guy is writing something like you're so hot or something creepy, I'm not answering you. Thank you for the compliment, but yeah. we don't care. Yeah. You know? No, for sure. Like, don't tell us we're hot. But tell it, us we're ugly. It's, it's like I'm not... <laughs> Uh, you want me to answer what hey thank you like yeah. that's not a conversation if you're yeah. if it depends what your goal is you know but it's no but either way even if your somebody, goal is to have sex with a girl you have to play it be smooth. slick yeah you because know? if you're giving her the compliment you're you already did what she wanted yeah if you're being slick and sly she wants the compliment yeah you get what i'm saying yeah if i can also give a tip is let's say you follow a girl do not d do not follow dm do not i'm gonna follow do dm and do, like a million pics i was just gonna say so this is what guys do they follow you they like four pics and then they dm you yes do not do that you're allowed maybe one one that you found nice in two. the past one fine. no but even because then it's like, like if the girl's kind of interested in you she's like who's this she's like hmm, why did he choose that one it keeps that mysteriousness but when also, you like all of them let me tell you no yeah you're just desperate. any more than four pics i'm Four i'm blocking too you much. It, i'm getting if i see your face like this no yeah because you're fucking annoying and i hate getting the notification did it like the pic yeah. no and like, i get it you. what you guys are trying to do is get noticed but let me tell you you're getting too noticed yeah that we're not we're overlooking you yeah. yeah and also so back to what i'm saying about follow and then don't dm right away because let's say you follow yeah, a girl. let it simmer yeah you follow a girl even if she doesn't follow you back if she sees whatever like i don't look at everybody that follows me yeah. but like if she kind of knows who you are she'll check out your profile and then if she feels like you're gonna dm her she's expecting it yes and then when yes. she gets that dm she goes hm, whatever yeah but if you follow her you and like you to don't do it and you don't do it then it's like wait what mm-hmm. and another easy way to dm somebody is like now you're following them you're they're probably most likely posting stories at some point you'll be able to be like oh my god i love this restaurant or you're mm-hmm. able to say things that don't feel like a dm where it's like you're putting your heart soul and everything because we get some dms that are terrible mm-hmm. like you know yeah. so yeah i I agree so my i've always said if you're gonna dm answer back to a story yeah because at least we can it's a relevant topic we can have a conversation about something it's not so like hey how are you like never in my like that's what i mean by i don't answer dms in the sense where like if you're messaging me like hey what's up where are you from like i don't i don't i'm the type of person where i need to see you in person so i don't care about you unless you're bringing something funny fun to the table and also i actually want to change what i said i think you could dm a bunch of girls i think that the main goal is that you like we said don't say the same thing and if you're gonna say something funny just just make every single dm at least be different and like totally not the same like Mm -hmm. don't start saying jokes in each one but like you know look at their instagram be like i love like there's a million ways to do it like i love that outfit you were wearing even at that it's ugly so what would you say honestly this is my like way that I would, yes. like I said, so I would follow the girl. Yeah. Like two pics. Let her see who I am. Yeah. She's probably not going to follow me back, but it's fine. Uh, Rule. Okay. I think Anyways. I would like somebody who was like, if I'm posting these, like not your hot or something or like come pass by here for drinks later if you want yeah. with your friends or something that's almost In- like you still know each other, even if you don't. Yeah. You, you ruin that whole, hey, how are you? Or just you know? writing back something that's like 
you know, something for, oh my God, you should try this place instead. You would, if you like this place, you should go here or yeah. like bring something yeah. of value. That's why I You're say right. like, you write something and it's like, oh my God, if you like this, you should totally try this. That's something that I'm going to be like, wow, thank Ooh, you so good. much. That's, that's so cool because you're messaging me with something valuable. Yeah, or you're try not saying this. hard eyes. Like, yeah. what do you want me to do? Like your message? Hard eyes, fire emojis, all that shit. You're it's, trying to be mysterious and it's not working. And it's not working and you fall right in with all the other people. So before we even, before you even worry about your DMs. Yes. And what you're doing in the DMs. Can I just say. Yes. If you are messaging girls, following girls or whatever it is. And you're trying to get girls on Instagram. If you have, first of all, a private profile, and I don't know who the fuck you are, I'm not following you back. I have no idea who you are. If your pick is, you think you're minimalistic by having zero posts and a black screen as but your pick. But why do I like when they're private? But also no. like... Because then I don't know who you are. That's and, true, and, and I'm not going to follow is, you. The pick is them in front of Niagara Falls, and you, but then you can't even see who the, it is. The kind of guy who's like not on private <laughs> is also probably an influencer, and we don't want that either. Not necessarily. I know. What? Right. That, that is so... I, I almost feel I'm like... Saying, you know when you go on a guy's page, and then suddenly they're not... I find all the... There's a lot of guys that are good most, prospects that are on private. But I'm saying, if you're wanting to DM girls, don't be on private. It's simple. That's true. I'm not answering. If you're going to be that Rico Suave, then put yourself on. No, but you don't yeah. even need to be Rico Suave. It's just have your pro. If you're messaging girls and you want an answer back, don't have your yeah, profile on private true. because I don't know. Well, who why do you I are. like a guy who's on private though? No, if you know who they are, but if you don't That's know true. who this person is, you're not answering back yeah. to a, a profile where you can't even see the pick and their name is Young Blood, like or at least make I don't know your, who the make fuck your you bubble are. pick look like. Okay, who's that cutie? Exactly, you know, or something. I just I can't stand when people follow me and their name is not in their bio or they have like their little fucking mm-hmm. Instagram handle that doesn't tell me who yeah. they are. They have a picture that I can't even see who it is, and then they're on private. Yeah. and then i get those same people telling me you didn't follow me back yeah yeah i didn't know it was fucking you like yeah. what the fuck you know and what i mean guys nothing cheesy either like if you're finding it on google that cheesy pickup line of a 911 rescue me or something like that like stay the fuck away unless it's original and also i oh, back to my thing about like- accounts i'm telling you your account it's not even about the dm it's about your account your account yeah. is so important yeah. because all these things are factors you in why somebody wouldn't answer you. Do you want to direct account? Do you want to start doing like social media posts for men? <laughs> I'm just we saying. Started like a I've, I've had men. Fun. I've had guys DM me. Imagine from, we started a show and it was like we basically we rebranded men who were trying to get girls. And we like handled their Instagram accounts. TV show idea. I don't know. Guys, nobody take our idea. please. <laughs> Anyways. Um. I've had guys DM me from literally their dog's account or like a fake account no, with, with three followers and their name. It, like, it's just like, how yeah. do you, why would you think I would answer this? Mm-hmm. I don't know who you are. First of all, who are you? You're a dog. Like, yeah. it's literally a dog's account. Like, it's just, that's why you're not being answered. Mm-hmm. Fix your account first and then worry about and what, what you're And what do you DMing. think about a girl DMing a guy? I don't mind. Okay, but how, how should they go about it if it's a girl? I mean... I believe the same thing. So I don't think you should go in yeah. with a weird like personally. I don't so wait. Think- they follow. Do you think as a girl they should follow and then DM? No. So they don't follow the guy. Yeah. Follow. But okay. not DM right away. Like okay. I would follow. Same wait rule. a bit. Get to know them. Yeah. I would say same rules. Gr- okay. Girls and guys literally. Have you ever rules. DM'd a guy first that you were inter- interested in? I'm trying to think. Probably not. Maybe. Could be. But just writing back on stories yeah but i've never that's it like answer a story yeah i i've never been um the type like i don't think any of like my flings or anything has started from social media okay so for me yeah i've definitely followed a guy and like liked his pics i've I've done it have you ever gone to the point where you i dm them no no have you ever gone to the point where you went on a date with them or somebody yes somebody dm'd you and you actually ended up dating going on a date with them yes like, like my many. boyfriend no <laughs> no 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 he wasn't from dm but um yeah like many are you kidding really? me it's the fastest way to go on a date wow and you're I've able to screen them you've never yeah i've never like answered a dm and went on a date with a guy because i need to see you and re- like really yeah no, i'm, I'm really on. like that like to, no alessia yeah, to the maximum i okay, don't what if you've like met a guy on instagram like his dms you didn't go on a date with him but then you've from instagram dm that's how you had that like kind of relationship and then that's how you saw each other 
Like, once you saw each other out after, it was like, oh, that's the guy who damned me. Now let's go on a date. Yeah. Well, my boyfriend now mm -hmm. uh, was obsessed with me my whole life. <laughs> no, but like for the longest time when I was in Australia, he would like always like write to my or actually mm -hmm. maybe when I got back, but he would always like write to all my stories, like blah, blah, write to all my stuff. And I just like didn't care. Like I was just uninterested. I was just uninterested yeah. because I was I like, it, it I also, don't care. But yeah, as soon as it I also has to do with like like timing and like where you are in that time of life you know i feel like if you're if you're open to the idea of dating and going on dates let me tell you you're gonna take those dms mm -hmm. a little more serious yeah if you're so like hot girl summer then you're gonna pick yeah wisely. i think my mood is always hot girl summer and that's why i don't no, care no, for sure but, but i'm saying with my boyfriend like he used to write to me and he used to like always send me voice notes i don't know why you always did that he would always send me voice notes and i, well, I would always nice. be like that's I, would, hot. I would always be like i can't hear you <laughs> like but that's hot I find. yeah i i mean it was different he was the only one that would send that's me fun voice notes that's something like that. a guy can do it could yeah. be creepy though do it well, the right way i'm just gonna you know maybe correct you your mistakes voice notes, I make sure like you, you could hear to, like you make sure you could hear what you're saying Babe, the fuck? He would literally be like this. <laughs> and I would say, what? Can't hear you. You're so good. No. I would not. And I was like, what? I would anyway. not with my voice. It's anyway. crazy I have a podcast now. Anyways, so <laughs> that's how I had initially, I had already met him a while back. But it builds character. He would, he would DM me and I'll be like, oh, whatever. And then I met him in real life. And then we, we established that like, personality mm -hmm. in real life and then i was like okay but it's I like nice because i feel like you got more personality from him from voice i feel like text no. could be so blah no but if it's anything better than backwards. text we're really disagreeing this podcast no but i don't like any for and I, this is my personal opinion but i don't yeah i genuinely don't like speaking to people if i on, met somebody in person and then they were sending me voice notes i'd be like oh my god this guy has personality he's able to yeah. not, not hide behind a screen kind of thing yeah. he's able to have a conversation like fluently and without like needing me to send one back like i don't know i find that hot no i think voice notes are hot i'm saying the it, the relationship started of him dming me but i was not interested but then when i met him in real life when i started hanging out yes, with him yes. the idea completely changed and then i was like okay yay when he would dm me which right, by the which way makes sense because you're not gonna find it hot if you don't know who the guy is well you're i didn't know like, who he was i knew him from a long time ago i just didn't care what a mess <laughs> but but as soon as i met him and then i like started like seeing him more often then he would dm me a lot less often and then i would be like okay, well, now I want him to DM me. And then when he would DM me, then I wanted it because I actually knew him and I knew his personality. Yes. And I, I had that f physical interest. So so what you're saying is DM less and try and get a date sooner. Yes. Okay. But I'm also, also, can we talk about something? This is, I say, whatever, don't DM. I don't answer DMs. But, but I would rather you DM me than go and say, bro can you tell veronica that she's really hot and uh, oh my god and, no or like no, when i get up. like guys who are like can you set me up with your friends yeah i'm like up. first of all my friends like men with balls yeah you have no balls so you're show automatically you. disqualified you are disqualified manscape if you can't shave your balls don't <laughs> fucking talk to me or any of my friends okay 20 percent off guys and you could talk to us <laughs> but like if you're saying if you're still in the vibe of can you tell uh, Vera, Can you tell her that she's hot? I, I literally tell when people tell me that when people say, "Can you hook me up with your friend?" I say, "Grow up. You're a loser. Go tell her yourself." <laughs> because no girl wants to hear. By the way, uh, he was telling me it's like no, yeah, no, and I will do it that way too. I don't give a fuck. You want to be a little bitch? I'm gonna go and tell her. Yeah, he said he wants to. He wants to fuck you. <laughs> I'll ruin all your fucking chances. <laughs> grow up and go tell it's yourself so true. tell me you know what i mean as soon as you it's get so as soon as you tell so a true. girl while well, that guy really finds you hot suddenly we're on our hot girl shit mode oh he finds me hot yeah yeah we don't okay. give a fuck yeah i knew yeah <laughs> but if you act uninterested let me tell you she's coming it's around so true oh my I god i hate when people do that i feel like this is the summer where fuck boys are not gonna get around so easy anymore i feel like fuck girls is coming out <laughs> I feel it's like hot nobody girl summer. cares. I just feel like no. I, I feel like nobody cares anymore. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't can just repeat what I said and act like it was original. <laughs> it's almost like nobody cares <laughs> this summer. <laughs> but 
But I just feel like we just got fucked in the ass for two years that everybody's just scrambling their Zara outfit and trying but to go nobody, out. Yeah, like nobody has time for bullshit, I think. I think if you're not going to be fun and you're not going to be in a good vibe and you're not going to have a good crew, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> like, I'm next. over. I'm also over like, not that I even have the right to be over me. I'm here in a relationship saying I'm over this. I'm over that. I don't like this. I don't like that. <laughs> Thank God I'm wifed up. <laughs> I'm over like, I think it's like where I'm at now in my life. But when I see guys who are also like too cool to like message a girl or too cool to go talk to a girl and like the type of guy that's like this. Yeah, it's like also grow up. Like, who do you think you are? I agree. I don't like that. I don't like when a guy is too... I agree. Like he won't even come and talk to you because he's too like... Well, for me, I know that those kind of people are are, like, they're not for me because... Mm. For me, if I'm somebody with a personality, I want somebody who's who's going to have that same personality. Outgoing. Yeah, I don't want... I don't, okay, I don't need you to be loud like me. Like, There's only sit in the some, corner. Yeah. But like... <laughs> Quite you dumb. need to be able to come talk to me. Yeah. If you can't, no. I just don't like... And a- if you're that guy who sees me out... Sees me out... <laughs> why am I talking like I'm single? But if you see this me... Whole covers it. <laughs> this whole podcast is about two people in relationships <laughs> trying to get <laughs> actually you know what it's the best advice because yes. we're so unreachable that <laughs> we're the most picky guys who like see you out and they're too shy to talk to you and then they send you a dm saying i saw you on saturday night you looked good <gasps> don't ruin your life because let me tell you you had no balls you're definitely not getting an answer if you message me saying saw you this night you looked so good I'm blocking you. No, like, because cause now it's creepy. Now it's you saw you me. You were staring at me and you you, you were, checked me out. You annihilated me, my ass, <laughs> my tits, my face, my outfit that I worked hard on. And you didn't walk over and tell me how good I look. And you think you're going to what? Now you're going to get a date by sliding my DMs? Absolutely not. You were right in front of me. You could have actually got an answer back. I, and I you decided to go the route of pending. Of <laughs> like... <laughs> right <laughs> you went literally the insecure there's no route. way you go up to somebody and you don't get an answer even yeah. if they say i have a boyfriend i'm not talking to you absolutely you're still getting an answer it's better than dms where it's just you know floating around and you're embarrassed every day looking <laughs> at it <laughs> so i have the funniest dm that i got this week i have some and funny dms too so i got also one. the ones about you know wanting to give us money and stuff keep Love them those. coming honestly <laughs> I love when people say, what's your PayPal? It's like, can you fraud me if I give it to you? But it's also like, I have a boyfriend and I can't accept your money. But if you find my email, like, (laughs) I'll accept because I didn't do anything wrong. I thought I was just getting money. So like, maybe I should put my email back on Instagram. uh, What do you mean, babe? Can I send my PayPal? I'll give you like 10%. 10%. But okay, so I got an email. I got a, a DM. Basically, he wrote to me and he was like, oh, it's here. He's like, what's good? How's the quarantine life? Which, first of all, like don't ever don't ever nobody wants to talk about covid are you kidding me how's the quarantine life bitch i just got out like don't yeah and also first of all i'm not answering you but anyways so he writes he writes to me that okay okay, okay, good you're not answering (laughs) okay are we single like (laughs) he writes this and i'm like i had seen it like i i saw it in my request and i was just like lol stupid thing to say and then an hour later sends me a picture of him like as if like okay i didn't answer his message but maybe if i send her a picture of what i look like maybe there's a chance but they're so always ugly a, but it's like what like oh, what do i have this selfie of you in my dms oh now my Leave. God. like also another thing about dming like i'm just looking through my dms somebody said hey and like a cute prospect you know check mark cute player mm. writes Hey, happy face doesn't get an answer back. Three weeks later, writes, hey, a different way. At that point, delete your hey and resend it. Always delete if you're going to try again. Don't keep it. It's, mm. Trust me, it's worse. You look I find like a it, creep. Well, I also, f- I just think if you didn't get answered, don't fucking send us a- another message. But if you are going to, at least remove the other one. When you see, uns- like when you know that somebody messaged you and you see that they <laughs> unsent it, it's like, loser. Don't unsend your message. Basically, you can't do anything, right? Don't do anything. No, I I would prefer if you unsend. If I didn't answer you the first time. Did he DM me? Like, I'm confused. I see. I'm just going to put something out there. Girls, no matter how many followers they have, see almost every single one of their messages. So if she saw and Mm -hmm. she didn't answer you, that's for a reason. I promise you, even if they have a million followers, they're looking through everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quick. 
but they're looking exactly so like i said it's all about the account i just don't understand the people who just go on and interact transfer question mark yes yes <laughs> can i pay you the outfit yes, yes. Uh, and i'm gonna lie about how much it was because i got it for ten dollars off shein like literally <laughs> seriously suddenly it's gonna be a ball made top absolutely a thousand eight please <laughs> Sure, of course you can pay for me. Oh my god. I got a really funny one too, but I should have found them before I I have I have one, okay? April 5th, I got I'll pay you 2k to hook up an MTL. And I went, "Okay, 2k. I feel like you're giving me my worth." Like you know what I mean? Like I feel But how do you feel now? Like do you feel like your boyfriend needs to pay you 2k when he sleeps with you or Oh, we already agreed that he's paying me 2k. Okay. But no, but it's just like, well, you'll give him a deal because he's your boyfriend. Obviously, one like k, a, like a, a loyalty card. <laughs> but like, two k is like okay. If I, if you would have said a thousand, I would have been like, mm. but I'm like two k, it's like okay, I'm getting the compliment here. I'm getting the compliment. So naturally, I you know didn't do it. And then I get June eleventh, which is two months later. I get if you're down to hook up in MTL, I'll pay you five hundred. So. <laughs> So guys, like I said, delete your messages. <laughs> so I want to know. <laughs> delete your messages, mu- Veronica. In two months, what did I do to go down a thousand five hundred dollars in worth? Th- you that's did- no. It's no two thousand to one point five. You changed your skincare or something routine. <laughs> Is he joke? You can't bad. just go from two k to five hundred. You're only supposed to hustle upwards, not downwards. Well, it's also like I'm insulted. Like if you were gonna narrow down to maybe like a one point five k, like this is a marketplace. Ver- Veronica puts it in a group chat with all her other friends, and one of the other friends got a different price. <laughs> this guy's just throwing. But he's prices. doing everything right. He's not deleting, like you said, and he's also not being automated. He's being truthful. Who he wants to get more to, who he wants. <laughs> Well, now I know that I went from being top seller to <laughs> we'll throw you on the side for a night, a little five hundred. Is very like five hundred is like that's standard pricing. Just call an escort. Like I've heard people who have went on uh, dinner restaurants and picked up a nice envelope that was five hundred bucks. Yeah, like what the hell? Now you want sex for five hundred bucks? Se- sex? <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. But what would be your like- price to sleep with somebody if you're single? Um, and you you literally you were in like a, a situation where you were home here we go where you were homeless and you had no choice what would be your price you're like well if i'm homeless then two dollars <laughs> but like if you had no choice and you had to anything that i say here is r- <laughs> like throwing me under the like you know what i mean you had i'm no just choice. gonna say i'm just gonna go right <laughs> i'm not gonna give a price but i'm just gonna say that when i look at escorts and prostitutes i say i'm a loser because i'm doing this for free yes absolutely <laughs> i say i'm here doing this for you free. said i chose love <laughs> and they said i chose the dough like <laughs> wow um i don't know what would be your price it's just because you it's because no matter at the end of the day it it, it goes you're with too the market high, then it's like calm but, the but that's what i'm saying it goes with the market like if we're gonna get technical and financial like you can't just go in thinking because you're not technically an escort or a prostitute that you could just come in charging 2k like yeah like the prostitute like able to charge 2k because she has the experience the street smart. absolutely and she has the clientele that she worked herself up yes. who do you think you are just because you don't do it that you're gonna have a high price <laughs> they're like back of the bus bitch like like it works by experience literally <laughs> it works by fucking seniority like <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you bugs. I'm giving you a hundred because I, have, I know you're gonna be there going I don't really want to be doing this <laughs> like I want the girl who's actually gonna try <laughs> like me it's those bitches that come and say I wouldn't take anything less than yeah I, I used to when I used to work in the club a lot of times people would offer me and be like I'll pay you to sleep with me like da 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 this much and I would just be like First of all, I'm I'm judging the price you give me, but I also know that mm. it's ten times higher than what you would actually pay me. Yes, because you're obviously inflating it. And for some reason, though, men love to like pay. This is what I don't get. Okay, let's talk about it briefly because we talk about everything here on the podcast. Briefly, briefly, this is what I don't get, guys. W- there's there's guys that will like not hire like a prostitute or an escort, 
but then try but then like get a kick out of trying to like pay not a prostitute or an escort just like a girl to sleep with them but wouldn't do you get what i'm saying repeat what you're saying so you lost me there's guys who will like not want to like hire an escort or a prostitute which is the same thing there's guys that won't want to hire an escort okay mm-hmm. but they get a kick out of trying to offer like a regular girl money to sleep with them and right they because would- the, automatically they think and they assume which is bad to say they think that the prostitute or the hooker or the porn star or whatever is automatically associated with like being dirty and that's the worst thing because they're actually most of the time the cleanest Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is fucked up right because how many regular people go have sex don't wear condoms are literally like you know what i mean and then like prostitutes actually do it the proper well i mean most of them prostitutes or strippers or whatever so I feel like that's where the stigma gets well, like fucked up. I just think right? that... Right? Wouldn't that make sense? Yes. But I also just think that like... For guys, their ego, they're like, I'm with a regular girl. Yeah. Maybe. But I don't but know. But the, the idea of paying somebody, doesn't matter who you're paying, you're yeah. still... It's the same thing. So I just find it funny how guys are like that. Like, yeah, it's true. It's so weird. Like I've had... And, it, and it, I've had like a lot of random people just like offer me money. And it's just like, what? Like... First of all, if you really want to give it to me and I'm working at the club, just give me a nice tip and <laughs> but let it's me just tell like, you, I'll take care of you. I'll that never night. <laughs> understand the idea of that. It's like if you're going to pay for sex, just go hire an escort. If you're, Because that's they're going to be how I see the it. best for the job. That's what I'm saying. It's just if you're going to pay, f- pay for sex, go hire an escort. Why are you well, coming to me? Well, I think that's why a lot of guys don't say... To- I'm going to give you money, but they say, I'll buy you a Chanel bag or I'll buy you something so that it it is like buying you something, but it feels more gifty. Mm -hmm. It feels it's because I think I don't know. I don't know. I get what you're saying of that, which I find is like a totally different um, like area. Like, I think there's a lot of people who will like bribe you with like gifts and dinners Mm -hmm. and stuff. And yes, it's like a. It's like a, it's still an exchange of mm-hmm. like goods for like sex. Well, it's like you said in the past, like people go, oh, my God, like I wouldn't be interested in the guys who like, you know, are trying to like get a girl by money or stuff. But there's also different types of people like mm-hmm. there's guys who get turned on and love the idea of spoiling a girl. So for them, it's like you said, supply to demand. You know yeah. what I mean? You're going to get the kind of girl who's into that and you're going to get the guy who wants that. So yeah. I think it really just depends. I also just think that there's the type of people that like will that get a kick out of like trying to convince a girl to do something. And then if she would like, for example, like, let's say a guy approaches me in the club, Cal pay you 500, mm-hmm. like, come on to come and sleep with me, knowing that I'm not an escort. They're going to try, try, try. If I would say yes and I would do it automatically, they would be like, ha. Like, I, I did it. I broke her on this. Like, they get this power trip of, like, having that domination over paying mm. somebody to do something they don't want to do. I don't do. think all guys are like no, that, but... but I'm saying the the mindset of the people who come to a club, because, like I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with paying for sex, but you know if you're somebody who's paying for sex, you're going to an escort. But the people that come and go after girls that are not, you're, you're just trying to get that, like, domination. It's weird, yeah. It's very, like, what's your point to do that? Like... What are you yeah. trying to achieve to try and see? I've literally, there was uh, one year. I don't know. It's a gray area with all of this. Yeah. <sighs> but I just find if I, I, I will yeah, always say, I will always say the whole sex industry is really funny because the people that hate on it are men. And the only reason it exists is because of men. Mm-hmm. So that's how I feel about that. Yeah. Yeah. Drop the mic. <laughs> it's so true though it's crazy yeah but i just think like even people who like bash escorts or bash strippers like you actually don't know how much fucking work they put in like they deserve every single fucking dollar that they get and Mm -hmm. like i'm sure there's clients who are unbearable different kind of smarts in this world there's book smart there's street smart Mm -hmm. and uh i do think like it's a lot of fucking work i don't even know because i don't i don't do it but like but it's also like i I'll never every argument that people have against like sex work just doesn't make sense. It like, doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, I feel like in the next like five years, it'll change, though. I don't know. With OnlyFans and stuff. It's a lot more. I just uh, well, I even me hearing that like a lot of strip clubs when they're going to reopen, a lot of girls are not going to go back because of how much money they made and pivoted mm-hmm. during the pandemic of like making money on OnlyFans and finding an easier way to sell just pictures mm-hmm. versus like having to go there and do a lot more work not saying that only fans is not a lot of work yeah because i've heard that it really is yeah. but 
it's different you know yeah, what i mean no, it gives you the freedom they don't have to, to be there, there and anywhere perfect. in the world and you're not committed to anything yeah no so. for sure for sure so when are we starting <laughs> But, but there is a really bad stigma with OnlyFans. And then if you look at something like less, Patreon, guys, Patreon's like less, another. Though. Oh, you mean the site? The Only site fans itself? versus Patreon. Like, yeah, if you really think about it, they both the do thing. the same thing. Yeah. The people who speak, sh- talk shit about it are l- are majority men. To like 35 guys. Yeah, our majority girls. men and our majority of the reason why it even exists. So mm-hmm. the people who are mad about it are just the people that are mad that they can't get it for free anymore. Bitch. You want to see nice cities? Pay the price. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. What are we going to title this episode? <laughs> Everything and nothing. <laughs> Sex workers. <laughs> and not being in the industry. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> the, we gave advice on sex work, not not sex work. And how to get a we, girl in DM. And, and in relationships. So I'll leave that to the expert. You'll figure out the title. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, give us five stars on Apple Podcasts if you listen there, and tune in next week for another episode of the Chemical X Podcast. We love you. Bye.